Now, one of the most important settings that I did not like about this, the default setting is the gimbal speed. So that's what we're gonna work on next. Click on that. We're gonna go to gimbal, camera gimbal advanced settings. Max gimbal pitch speed. We're gonna go with 100 first. We're gonna go to the extreme. Press okay. And I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna move this button right here. And that's the gimbal. Watch. You see how fast that is? That's way too fast for me. When it starts going. So what, I, what do I do? I change that to about 30. Okay? Much better. See how smoother that is? When you're trying to reveal something, you don't want it to be too fast. And that right there is the next setting to change. It's the brake speed. So we're going to go here. Same thing. Gimbal pitch smoothness is the brake speed. So we're going to go with 7. Here we go. See? It's faster, right? Doesn't delay too much. See, so if you want it to stop fast, use a lower number. But if you want it to ease in, use a higher number. So go back. For this one, I would probably say maybe uh, 20. All right. And like I said, these are the settings that I like to use. So I would probably use it like this. Move forward and gimbal up. You see how smooth that is? See how smooth I can do that? And stop. That's what that, that is for. That's why I like to change that because the default settings were just way too fast. Now the last thing I ended up turning off is the gimbal pitch limit to 30 degrees extended upward. With that on, which is the default, you can have your drone to look up. Now, that kind of sucks because it's hard to gauge when I'm doing a reveal. Look how far it goes. All the way to negative 90. And then when I go up, it's like, all right, I'm moving the camera up right now. Look how far it goes. Now, if you're trying to get that look like that, like an upward look, then go for it. But for standard use, I'm gonna turn that off. It's great if you're trying to get some under shots, but for other settings, this one is good.